Oh, it's a very special week on Morning Live. Not only <laughs> because we get Julie Grieve back on the show. It is Waste Reduction Week. Accidental environment, environmentalist uh, Julie Grieve with us. Hello. Yes, hello. It is Waste Reduction Week. Very exciting week. Now, a lot of people don't know about Waste Reduction uh, Week, which is why I'm yeah. here spreading the word. Okay. But it's actually the 23rd. Since 2001, Canadians have celebrated Waste Reduction Week. And what it is, is the idea to get us, you know, encouraged and to learn new little things about what we can do to make a difference. Now, Tim, the way that the week works is every single day this week, there is a different theme per day day and that's why I love this because you know a lot of times when we talk about the environment it is a very heavy serious situation right but also we need to learn and that's what waste reduction week is all about today is repair Monday okay what do we and do that for is repair all Monday? It is, is the idea of like maybe today's the day that we're going to fix a few things in the house we're gonna mend that sweater but basically Tim we are not gonna throw out something just because it is broken okay, okay? that is today nice now tomorrow Get ready for it, my friends. It is Textile Tuesday. What does that mean? Okay, so Textile Tuesday is to be aware of textile waste. In Canada alone, over 500 kilograms of textile waste is in landfill every year. Okay. Crazy. So textile waste is anything from your clothes to your bed sheets to all of that stuff. So here's my tip. Do not throw out things just because they have holes or stains. Look how we can recycle it. So cotton t-shirts, cut them up, make them into your rags. Old wool sweaters, you can transform them into dryer balls, which would help your dry your clothing dry faster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How, yeah. do you do, how do you do that? Oh gosh, okay, that's a whole other step. <laughs> you cut them up into strips <laughs> and you can use them. So it's great. So the thing is just tomorrow, think about your textile waste and how can you reuse can it? Can I just put this, because a lot of people like want to say, well, just donate these clothes. Yeah. But nobody wants to wear a shirt with a hole in it. No, so, like, exactly. So a clothes. lot of it ends up in landfill. Yeah. As much as you're trying to do the right thing, it can. Okay. So to, then Wednesday okay. is E-Waste Wednesday. What do we do with these batteries, Jules? Okay, these are electronic waste. That's the number one thing you got to know about E-Waste is what is E-Waste? And it's basically anything that has a plug or a battery. You need to donate this to your E-Waste recycling centers. And here in Hamilton, there's a ton of them, but to, on Wednesday, because we are in Waste Reduction Week, you're going to find little pop-up e-waste bins around places, like in schools, in your har har hardware stores. That's where you're going to do it. Because you're not generally going to throw this stuff no. out, but it's a lot of the, you know, it's going to maybe sneak a few of these into the garbage. Do not, do, do, do not, not do hold on to them and do right. your e-waste drive. Okay, Thursday is the this. big one. Love okay? this one. Exactly. Thursday is the big day because that is Plastic Thursday. It's the world versus plastic. They're estimating, this is a horrible stat, by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in our oceans. I know, but I'm not the Debbie Downer, I'm the no. positive penny. So what I'm going to tell you is look for packaging that is plastic free in all of your products. Things like your cleaning supplies, go with the sheets. These are completely plastic free, non-toxic. Can I just highlight this one? We I, use this one. It is, it is a fa the toilet bowl strips. It is, you, just, you just drop them in the toilet bowl, it dissolves, so and you do a whoop, whoop, whoop. Done, clean, done and dusted. sparkling new. So these are awesome. I get these at well.ca, which yeah. is such an amazing place for so many different things on your sustainable and journey. And you get 36 of them. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but on. honestly, you gotta check it out. It's so easy to get them there. Awesome. Okay, fun day is Friday. Food waste Friday. Again, I talk about this all the time, but you want to be able to keep your food around longer. Almost $10 billion a year is wasted in food here in Canada. So it's like dollars, like it's money. So try to keep your berries longer. 30% longer they'll last if you mm. keep them in glass jars. Keep your lettuce wrapped in a tea towel. Glass jars over the plate. Plastic bin? Oh, 100%. I know. You don't know that one, right? No. I know because I've told Annette, changed her life. Honestly, keep Take these, them out of the plastic, plastic bins, bins that, they're, that they come in. Put them in a glass jar. They will last 30% longer. Tim, I'm going to talk to you about that next time I'm here. Okay. I'm okay. saving your money. This is broth. You can make that into broth right there. That's broth. You got huh? it, baby. You got it. <laughs> so Food Waste Friday, have a ball, but don't waste the end of the week. Is uh, sorry, swap and share Saturday, Sunday. Okay. So share, think of ride share, think of going to a library. Share, share, and then swap. Swap it out with your friends. Swap some clothes, swap some tech. Just avoid buying and swap it out. Could you work on your enthusiasm a little <laughs> bit more, please? <laughs> we don't really understand if you're enthusiastic about this. It's Waste Production Week, man. This is my, this is my week. Yes. <laughs> I like when I'm on with you because then I have to be like the, the straight man. Yeah, you're like Julie, please yeah, just calm chill. down. Okay, here we go. Uh, Julie Grief, thank you so much, the accidental environment. Uh, do what you can on this waste reduction week.